Hi, Michael Hurwich here for CreativeCow.net. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at exporting from Autodesk Maya 2010 into Autodesk Mudbox 2010 using the FBX format. And this is just a way to get geometry from Maya into Mudbox. And you can export any shape from Maya. We're just going to be exporting a box and then a sphere. And we're going to be looking at a problem that can arise in Mudbox when you try to paint the geometry. And it has to do with the UVs. And we're going to look at how to solve that problem by scaling the UVs a little bit in Maya. If you're not familiar with UVs in Maya, I suggest that you look at the introduction to UV mapping and all of the help in Maya on UVs. So I'm going to start just by making a cube or a box here in Maya. Drag that out on the plane, click again, and create the height. That's all it takes to create a box. And here we have the UVs for the box. I'm going to go ahead and export this now. File. I'll just export all since that's all we have in the scene here. And I'll call this Box01. And this just brings up some options. I'm just going to choose to accept all the defaults and click Export. Now let's go into Mudbox. I already have Mudbox open, so I'm just clicking on it to come into it. And go to File and Import. And there's my Box01. So I'm just going to click on that and Open. And there's my box hold down the Alt key and I can view that from all sides. So let me just try painting this. I'm going to hold down the B key here and make my paintbrush larger and just choose this uh, green grass. It says the mesh has multiple UV tiles shown in different colors it says you can load a tile or unload it by pressing the up arrow. So I'll just click that. So I'm just using the mouse actually to paint this, the left mouse button. Hold down the Alt key and use the left mouse button to rotate this. So I actually find that I can paint this on all sides and every single part of it just rotating it with Alt left mouse button and painting it with the left mouse button. And as I rotate this around now you can see that every single part of it is painted. So there was no problem with that. So I'm just going to save that now and go back to Maya. Now I'm going to create a sphere in Maya click on the polygon sphere and I'll just create that over here and here are the UVs for the sphere but I'm going to start by just exporting the sphere as is file and this time I'll choose export selection and sphere 01 and click export again I'll just accept all the defaults go into mudbox import. There's my sphere. I'm going to use Alt right mouse button to zoom out a little bit and Alt middle mouse button to move over a little bit. So now I'm going to try the same thing that I tried with the box and just start painting this. Again it says it has multiple UV tiles shown in different colors the same message I had before. But this time it comes up and says some areas are not loaded and you must first load the UV tiles. But I'm just going to keep painting here and see what I can accomplish. Hold down the Alt key, use the left mouse button to rotate the view. It keeps bringing up that warning. Something it did not do with the box but it does allow me to continue painting. 
So I'll just paint as much as I can here, keep rotating it. And what you can see is there is an area right in here. I'm going to use Alt middle mouse button to move over a little bit and Alt right mouse button to zoom in. So you can see that there is an area there that just would not paint. And my experience was that if I tried to use the up arrow key to load that tile in Mudbox, that did not work. So I'm going to save that now and go back into Maya again. So here's my same sphere and here are my UVs. So I'm going to go into my UV texture editor and by the way to get into that you go to edit UVs, UV texture editor, right click and choose UV I'm going to choose the scaling tool over here. Drag a selection box and get all my UVs selected. Go right to the middle here and just pull down a little bit just to scale those UVs just a little bit in from the edge. Now I'm going to go ahead and export that selection and this I will call Sphere 02 and export and accept all the defaults. Go back into Mudbox and File Import Sphere 02. That came in right on top of the other sphere so I'm going to go to the Select Move Tools. I'll choose Objects first then Translate and just move that over a little bit. So here's the one that wouldn't paint in there. Now I'll use the Alt right mouse button, zoom out a little bit, and the middle mouse button to move it over a little bit. So here's my new sphere, the Sphere 02. And I'll go back to the paint tools, get that paint brush, and I'll just paint this uh, pink color to distinguish it. Click on that, get the paint layer, click OK, and I'm just going to start painting that. Alt left mouse button to rotate, keep painting, Alt left mouse button, keep painting. And I think you can see that there is no area on this new sphere that wouldn't paint. So the situation is that if you have UVs in this 0 to 1 UV space, 0 down here, 1 up here, 0 here, 1 here, and they are right on the line, right on the border, it can cause problems when you import into Mudbox. So what you want to do is go into the UV Texture Editor and use the scaling tool to scale those UVs back just a little bit inside the 0 to 1 texture space and then you may have better luck painting in Mudbox. So that concludes this tutorial on FBX export from Maya to Mudbox and a possible problem you may encounter when painting in Mudbox and how to solve it by scaling the UVs a little bit in Maya. Thanks for tuning in and I hope this has been helpful to you.